Top 30 Flutter Tips and Tricks. 30 Introduction Screen. If you want a list like this, you can use the Introduction Screen. It is simple. You start with the Introduction Screen, the Done, the Undone argument, and the Pages. The Pages is a list of page view model. 29. Rich Text. You want to have different style inside your text? Use the Rich Text. You have a text pan. Inside this text pan, you have the children and all the text pan with different style. 28. Flexible. You want to have different ratio inside your screen, you can use the flexible widget. Inside, you can use the flex factor in order to change all the ratio. But what if you would like this widget to take all the remaining place? We can use the expanded. So you just replace the flexible with the expanded. And if you have another expanded, you can use the flex argument in order to change the ratio of the application. 26, the circle avatar. You can use the circle avatar over your image in order to have a circle. You use the radius to change the size and the background color to change the background. 25, wrap. Sometimes you have a row with too many children. You can use the wrap instead and it will look like this. 24, fitted box. Will you like to have a children that fit his parent? For this, you can use the fitted box. 23, splash screen. Every application have one and you can use the Flutter native splash to do it. You add the color, the image in your pub spec, you run this command, and then you have your splash screen. 22, snack bar. It looks like this. And if you want to use it, you can use the scaffold.ofcontext.show snack bar and you use the snack bar widget with a certain duration if you want. 21, visibility. If you want any widget to disappear or reappear, you can wrap it with the visibility widget. You just set the visible argument, then you define true or false. 20, spread operator. If you want to add a list of widget inside a column, you could use another column, but there is something easier. It's just the spread operator. 19, status bar color for Android. You can change it by using the system UI overlay style and use the status bar color. You can also change the navigation bar color by using the system navigation bar color. And if you want, you can also put them both transparent. 17, body behind app bar. If you want your widget to appear behind the app bar, you can use the extend body behind app bar as true. 16, safe area. If you don't have any app bar, all your widget will go behind the status bar. To solve this, you can use the safe area. 15, clip or rec. If you want any widget to have circular border radius, you can use the clip or rec. But if you are with a container, it is preferable to use the border radius inside decoration. 14, sliver app bar. You can see the difference between the normal and the sliver app bar. For this, you use the custom scroll view and the sliver app bar. When you scroll down, the app bar will disappear and will come back when you reach the top. You can also put the floating argument as true. This will bring back the app bar every time you scroll up. 13, future builder. When you press the button, you have a loading and then the information. You can use the future builder with a future. This future will return a list of string in this case. And you can use the snapshot in order to find if the loading is done. If we are waiting, we can show the circular progress indicator. Otherwise, we will return the values. Once again, when we click on this button, we have a waiting screen and then it will return the value with the snapshot. 12, Copertino widgets. If you want the loading screen to be more like iOS, you can use instead the Copertino activity indicator. Copertino is for iOS. But how to know if it is an Android or an iOS device? You can use the platform checking, which you can call by saying platform.isandroid by example. Number 10, media query. You can find the height and the width of any device with the media query dot of context dot size. If we turn the screen, the height and the width will change. Nine, Google fonts. This is a plugin that you can add to your app you just need to change the style of a text by calling Google fonts dot something and you will be able to access any fonts in your app. This is the catalog. Eight, selectable text. 
If you want your text to be selectable, what you will need to do is replace text by selectable text. Number seven, the hero. This will allow the user's focus to never be broken. You can use the hero just by wrapping any image with the hero widget and add a tag. Six, animated icon. For this, you will need to use an icon button and inside you will have the animated icon. You have a controller that will set the duration of the animation and a trigger that will forward or reverse the animation of the animated icon. And it looks just like this. Five, animated container. If you want to animate a container inside your application, you replace the container by an animated icon. And now every time that something inside the animated container change, it will be automatically animated by the animated container. And it look just like this. Four, null aware operator. Let's say you want to display a value that is not null, it will work. But if the value is null, the application will have the red screen. But you can put a default value with the null aware operator. Three, lint. When you use this plugin, you will need to create rules inside the analysis option.yarn. And after it will show you all the best practices to build your app. Two, the launcher icon. You can put any image with the plugin Flutter Launcher icon, you add the image and you run this command. Then you will have a launcher icon. Number one, the interactive viewer. You can zoom on any element of your app by wrapping the widget with the interactive viewer.